The scapula or shoulder blade is a big player in arm movements. And some people say that without your scapula, you would have, well, way less arm mobility. But in real life, you wouldn't have any active mobility without your shoulder blade. And that's because your shoulder blade has the most connections with the muscles that move your arm up or in rotation. And the shoulder blade also carries the socket of your shoulder joint, so without this, you wouldn't be able to move the arm. But there are more facts about your scapula you probably didn't know of. Facts that are way different than what you find online. So if you want to know the real facts about your shoulder blade or scapula, stay here and find out. Hi, and welcome back to Your Free Doll Online. Let's start with the first fact. It is normal that there are variations in movements of your shoulder blade. Older physios or physios that don't stay up to date of the current changes in evidence still believe that variations of a shoulder blade are dysfunctional and need to be changed. But the latest evidence tells us otherwise. Variations are normal and can even be really useful if we link them to different sports for instance. So if you have a winged shoulder or you see a tipped shoulder, don't immediately try to change it. And that's already fact number two. Asymmetry and variations of shoulder blade movements are really common and normal. So why should we even take a look at it if it's normal among different people? And even normal within the same person? Fact number three is also related to a different kind of moving shoulder blade. And that's because variations in movement occur as often in people with and without pain. So again, changes in movement don't mean we need to fix them. Fact number four is that there's no relation between pain or pathology and a different way of movement of the shoulder blade. So the fact that your shoulder blade moves differently doesn't mean it is linked to pathology or pain in your shoulder. So instead of focusing on the shoulder blades, let's focus on something that has something to do with your lack of function or increase in shoulder pain. Because if we are really honest, we can even reliably measure changes of shoulder blade movements. And that's already fact number five. So if we can't measure changes of movement or abnormal movements, how can we even say that they are abnormal? Or to take it even further, how can we say that they are a part of your shoulder pain? The last fact about the scapula or the shoulder blade is that regular rehab is just as good as specific rehab. So instead of focusing on stabilizing on your shoulder blade, try to do some functional exercises and exercises that match your complaint. If you're having problems with reaching overhead, try to do some push and overhead activities. Alright, I hope these facts are helping in understanding why we at Your Feature the Online and you shouldn't be focused at the shoulder blade. We at Your Feature the Online are more focused on how to move without pain as soon as possible and that should also be your focus. Okay, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health and shoulder related videos. And if you need some personal help with your shoulder pain, or you just want a second opinion, consider booking an online appointment with our shoulder specialist at online. The link is in the description down below. This is Arjan, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.